Hey guys, it's Dave from AIPTcomics.com and I have a new unboxing for you which you may not see coming because this is the Spider-Man um, <laughs> Infinity War uh, action figure from Marvel Legends. Uh, you can actually get it on Amazon uh, if you can find it for maybe 40 to $20. Um, since it isn't in stores nationwide yet, it is tricky to find, but uh, we're pretty excited about this because we have a pretty cool Spider-Man collection that uh, this might fit perfectly with. So let's unbox this and let's check it out. Thanks. All right, so as you can see, we've got the usual Marvel Legends uh, series box with the uh, window and then where it's from and then the character's name. This time it says Iron Spider. Um, you'll note that there are no uh, Iron Spider uh, arms that go uh, on the back of the figure, which is a bit of a bummer because we have seen some uh, some leaks of um, Spider-Man figures and statues that have those uh, arms, so um, it's almost like it's incomplete. It also comes with the uh, Thanos leg, and as you can see on the back here, um, of the six figures, or actually, there's seven figures, but there's Iron Man who doesn't come with one of the pieces from for Thanos, which is interesting. But then there's the cap with the beard, this Spider-Man, um, one of the villains that's going to be teaming up with Thanos, Taskmaster, Master, Songbird, and then um, kind of an obscure villain uh, from Serpent Society. Um, but maybe we'll be seeing him more often in the coming months. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, you get the cool photoshopped uh, action figure picture. Um, looks pretty sweet with the purple behind him. Um, again, I guess the iron is in the chest, but uh, eh. I don't know. I'm kind of wanting those uh, those uh, extra arms, and then you've usually you've got the usual uh, bit of uh, one sentence uh, description of the character in four languages. So let's open this. Right. All right. So another thing about this figure, and you can actually find this online for sometimes forty dollars, and I don't know if it's worth it because he just comes with the leg. There are no extra arms, and there's no webs, but you do get the, the, the new look from the movie. Um, as you can see, uh, there's some cool like detail in the suit, I guess to make it look metallic. Um, there's like a texture. You only get one set of eyes too. It's kind of a serious look. Um, definitely a different look for the character that we've never seen before. He, uh, with the gold outlining the spider on his chest. It looks pretty cool. Uh, and then a little bit of gold on the on the knees too. And then he's got two flip hands. Let's take this out. And if we're looking at the back, more of that gold. Looks pretty good. I mean, the feel of it's nice. Look at that buttocks. Wow. <laughs> um. The head is is actually a little loose. I don't. This is actually not customary of Marvel Legends figures, but just a, a tap of that. Look at you could actually see it. It moves really easy. It's not. I mean, it'll still move to where you want it to, but that's surprising. Um, I'm gonna take a guess and say these were rushed to get to the store shelves for the new movie, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. There's no place to put any Iron Spider arms if they were ever at an attachment. Um, as you can see, there's no peg hole in the back which is a bit surprising because sometimes it's there. Um, he does have the peg holes on the bottom. You can tell this is from a different, another mold of, um, from Marvel Legends. You know, it's funny, it actually feels kind of cheap too. Hmm, interesting. But, like all Marvel Legends, he can, he can bend pretty good. Um, his head actually doesn't turn up beyond this, which is a little surprising. It does go down a little, but, and all the way around, but, to look up is tricky, and that's gonna be tricky. If he's like in a, in a, t in a crouch, he's not gonna look up enough if he's really low. Like right now, that's as high as he can look. Kinda weird. Um, but all the other uh, usual Marvel Legends uh, articulations there with the double knee joint there and the, um, the ball joint in the, in the shoulder, so he can get more of a, like, oh, his arms open more. Um, Hmm. Overall, yeah, this is like a different look for the character. Obviously, we haven't seen him yet in the movies because that doesn't come out till uh, April? I think April now. Um, 
the paint job is really good and the texture is really nice, but it it's almost an un, unfinished figure without the arms and then he only ha and he has no accessories aside from the leg. I don't know. Not super pumped about this. And you know, looking at the uh, promo pictures when it first came out, I wasn't. I was more excited about the new look than anything else. The joints in the chest is also a little loose. I could see that wearing out pretty quick. And then his head is already loose. I don't know. It's it's like it's like it's, it was made in the wrong factory or something. Whereas most most Marvel Legends are pretty solid. So anyway. If you go to AFPTcomics.com, you can see my full score, additional uh, notes and thoughts, and pictures of the figure, as well as uh, more additional great content. <laughs> if you like this video, please subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.